Hello folks, this is 2010, October, November, paper 211 and the question number is 5. So it's a bit uh, a bit difficult question, but uh, I don't know how it escaped my attention. So today I just saw it and uh, thought that I should make a video out of it right away. It is concerned with the chapter uh, measurement techniques. So let's read the question. The diagram shows a catheter ray oscilloscope, CRO, being used to measure the rate of rotation of a flywheel. So this is a flywheel here. Uh, the flywheel has a small magnet M mounted on it, so this is the magnet. Each time the magnet passes the coil, uh, a voltage pulse is generated. It's because of uh, electromagnetic induction. The uh, field lines uh, are cutting this uh, closed coil, closed coil uh, which is passed to the CRO, so this shows that pulse. The display of the CRO is 10 cm wide, 10 cm wide, a wide one actually. Uh, the flywheel is really at the rate of uh, 3000 revolutions per second. So it is uh, which you call as RPM. So nowadays it's called as RPM, this unit. Uh, which time based setting will display clearly separate pulses on the screen? So we have to select a, an appropriate time base for the um, to show separate pulses. So first uh, let us find the frequency and the time period. So the frequency will be equal to, so let's let me leave an idea. So F is equal to uh, 3000 rpm so I need to change this into a second so it should be equal to 3000 divided by 60 rps and that's equal to 50 rps or equal to 50 hertz 50 hertz so that means that the time period of this one uh, time period from a uh, time period of this uh, this uh, uh, current or whatever this voltage is is equal to 0 0.02 seconds so that means uh, in every 0 0.02 seconds the pulse will repeat the pulse will repeat. so the distance uh, from one pulse to another pulse the time separation from uh, one pulse to another pulse will be equal to uh, 0 0.02 seconds so let me write here uh, the time from uh, one pulse so in order to pass one pulse one pulse we have uh, we have the time elapsed is 0. 0 0.02 seconds so now what it says is uh, which time based setting display clearly separate pulses so we want to see separate pulses here so for ease what you have is since you have 10 here let me say 5 pulses so let me see I can see 5 pulses here so 5 pulses means 5 pulses mean uh, it will require a total time of 5 into 0 0.02 equal to 0 0.1 second so 5 pulses means 0 0.1 second so that means if I have to show 5 pulses here 5 pulses here then uh, then, then then this whole screen should show me 1 second so if I have to adjust 5 pulses here this whole screen should uh, be adjusted in 0 0.1 second so that means then that means I have got uh, this uh, 10 centimeter is equal to 0 0.1 second so then I have 1 centimeter will be equal to 0 0.1 by 10 second that's equal to 0 0.01 second so for 1 centimeter it is 0 0.01 second so let us see here let us see if this is correct or not so 1 second per centimeter so we have 0 0.01 second per centimeter this is incorrect let's go for this 10 millisecond per centimeter so this thing is definitely equal to if I change this into uh, milliseconds I will have 0 0.01 uh, 1 into 10 to the power 3 millisecond so it will be equal to so this into this will be equal to 10 milliseconds so choice number B seems to be correct choice let's go for uh, choice number C as well so we have got 100 microsecond and this will be equal to 0 0.1 millisecond 0 0.1 millisecond per centimeter not correct here we have got one microsecond so this uh, when we change into uh, millisecond or second it will be in millisecond it will be 0 0.001 something like that so this also incorrect this also incorrect so the correct choice is just choice number b so 10 millisecond means 10 millisecond uh, per centimeter is the appropriate uh, time based setting that uh, we should have to show these pulses uh, clearly but one thing that you have to remember is if somebody wants to show just to, just to two waves, two pulses, so for them the answer will be 0 .0, 0 0.04, this will be so 0 0.04 and 0 0.04, 0 0.04, so it will be 0 0.004, so 
here we will have uh, something like uh, 4 millisecond so this 4 millisecond will be uh, then in that case we will have to uh, go for whichever choice is nearer so in that case also uh, the nearest choice will be 10 millisecond so here we have uh, the exact answer because of five pulses if you take uh, three two pulse two uh, wave two pulses or three pulses also the nearest answer will be this 10 milliseconds so the correct choice will be definitely 10 millisecond per centimeter